this short video what I'm uh, going to show is uh, how a researcher can uh, begin a search uh, literature search a scientific literature search when the topic given to the researcher is a uh, little unfamiliar so the usual tendency is um, that uh, we uh, put in the keywords in Google or sometimes uh, people use PubMed for doing the search. Uh, there are different pros and cons for both the methods but in this what I will uh, explain is like what I usually do uh, when I have challenge of doing literature search on a topic which is uh, unfamiliar to me uh, and that to using Google Scholar. Although I am not going to show how to use Google Scholar, there are pretty number of uh, uh, videos to show that. What I am going to show is how the, the uh, 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 what is this, no. So what I am going to show here is not how to do search in Google Scholar but how you can begin from Google Scholar and then jump into the PubMed. The problem with uh, PubMed is that when you use normal keyword searches in PubMed, the, the literature retried is abundant. And much of it may be just irrelevant, non-specific to your topic. You can use mesh terms and so on, but then you might lose important literature. So, so I mean, uh, you require a lot of patience, you have to review a lot of literature before you get the targeted article or targeted uh, literature of your topic because the major limitation with PubMed is that you cannot combine uh, several uh, um, keywords together or, or if you do so with uh, using boolean operators again they have their own limitations so let's uh, do it so for example at this moment uh, say for me uh, i'm finding it uh, hard to understand the topic on incisional hernia uh, and different types of meshes those are used uh, in this uh, kind of uh, hernia so uh, maybe for example let me first take example of uh, PubMed okay so suppose I type incisional hernia uh, uh, incisional hernia then uh, different types of meshes I have typed this and I click on search and uh, so this is basically my interest so I used uh, I expressed my interest in these words uh, keywords and I added and I see there are five relevant uh, articles I mean based on the keywords that I entered and I uh, realized that see the first article itself which says abdominal hernia repair with no react treated oh sorry react treated bovine uh, pericardial patch okay so again I don't see this is what I'm looking for second I see optimum mesh and port size for laparoscopic incisional hernia repair again uh, this is not really close to the topic which I am looking for then the third one is the alternative classification of incisional hernias and listing morphology body type and blah 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 again this is not what I am looking for so as you see uh, with these keywords when I target directly PubMed uh, I am getting really irrelevant uh, articles or articles of not my interest now let me try the same keywords in Google Scholar. Now again let me tell you even Google Scholar is not going to give you a very targeted search. The only benefit that you get in Google Scholar is that it really uh, uses these keywords to get to you the 
uh, most available literature and it also gives you uh, for each of these like uh, uh, cited and related articles definitely you can get if you click on each of these articles you can get cited and related uh, links here too but you see I got only five and I do not see any of them is like important okay or uh, maybe a little bit the fourth one which says comparison of prosthetic materials and institutional hernia repair however again it is not that close to uh, my search and i have no opportunity to see more more than five so then i when i did this uh, search using same keywords in google scholar maybe i have more opportunity uh, to see the literature now even with this if i'm not really targeting anything i can add some more words like review okay now doing this uh, you can see at the second stage itself i see the results of incisional hernia repair repair or uh, 12 year review this may be close to mine or maybe a comparison of suture repair with mesh repair uh, and so on these all look quite closer to what I am interested in and if I am really getting any targeted one for example the, the second one is quite close to me what I can do is a number of things either I use uh, cited by uh, and see what are those okay uh, how many people cited this in which I do get the latest one as well I can also use related articles and again that can also give me uh, uh, the similar article list okay alternatively what I do is I use this title and most of the time it works I use this title and go to combat enter the title here in the search okay and let me try doing the search in most cases it does accept the title and gives me the result so here i see there are two which i'm getting even if i look for the recent one okay and then i can click on see all which will show me all related ones now in that too I am interested in the most recent one so what I will do is I will go to display settings and click on the PubMed date because I want to see the most recent one on the top list or maybe maybe organize them as per the date because I am interested in uh, looking at what is the most recent in related to this uh, review of incisional hernia repair and so on. So when I apply that, I get like 2000, 2009 put up as at the top, which says open incisional uh, hernia repair at an academic tertiary care medical center. Again, this may not be related, but here the second one, I'm seeing that meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials comparing open and laparoscopic ventral and incisional hernia repair with mesh. Again, this is still not close to the one which I am interested in. For example, I am interested in different types of meshes. So, uh, likewise, maybe you can uh, come closer to uh, your uh, topic when you follow this method. Uh, you can uh, maybe then click on here which says uh, only to show review. So, it will just show you or the 11 reviews which are there and you can try to see if they are any of them are aligning to your research question but definitely what you get after doing this at least in my experience is pretty close to what you are interested in uh, this is what I wanted to share with you guys hope you enjoy doing your searches in this way starting with google scholar anyways do share your views good or bad thank you